This is a series of videos. Please refer to methods of stitches, ignoring the yarn color. Select the corresponding yarn colors in your material package to learn. Please refer to both the videos and the instructional brochure during your crocheting process. Please make sure to first view the beginning 10 instructional videos to learn the basic methods of crocheting, and then view the instructional videos for your purchased product. The strawberry. Working into a magic ring, wrap the yarn around your fingers like this. In round one, work one chain stitch, six single crochets, and one slip stitch. Insert hook into the loop, yarn round hook, and put up a loop. A magic ring is formed. For beginners who crochet for the first time, please use the matching practice yarn to practice basic stitches until you have mastered the methods before crocheting. In order to show the stitches more clearly, we'll use thicker yarn for demonstration. Working into a magic ring. Wrap the yarn around your little finger. Then bring it to the index finger. Make a loop around your middle finger. Pinch the yarn with your thumb and middle finger. Insert hook into a loop on your middle finger. Yarn round hook, pull up a loop. The loop on the middle finger becomes a magic ring. Work one chain stitch. Yarn one hook and pull the yarn through the loop on the hook. That's a chain stitch. First, work a chain stitch. Yarn round hook. Pull the yarn through the loop on the hook. That's a chain stitch. If you are not familiar with the basic stitches, you can watch the tutorial videos and practice the basic stitches with the practice yarn in the kit. One chain stitch is done. Then work six single crochets. Insert hook into the magic ring. Yarn one hook and pull up a loop. Then yarn one the hook and pull through both loops on the hook. That's a single crochet. Insert hook into a magic ring. Hook the yarn. Pull up a loop through the magic ring. There are two loops on the hook. Yarn round hook. Pull the yarn through both loops on the hook. One single crochet is done. Such a V-shape stands for one single crochet. Place the marker in the first stitch on every round. One single crochet is done. The chain stitch as the beginning is to raise the height and will not be counted into the number of stitches. Continue to work five more single crochets in the same way. There are six V's, stand for six single crochets. Pull the yarn tail tight to close the ring.
or one slip stitch in the marked stitch. The slip slit serves as a connection. It is not counted into the number of stitches. Insert the hook into the marked stitch. Hook the yarn and put up a loop through the stitch. Then pull the first loop unhook through the original loop unhook. That's a slip stitch. Slip stitch. Insert hook into the next stitch. Hook the yarn and pull up a loop through the stitch. And also pull it through the original loop on the hook. That's a slip stitch. Round 1 is done. In round 2, work a chain stitch first. Then we will insert hook into the stitch where we just worked the slip stitch of last round to work the first stitch. Work a sack of 1 single crochet, 1 increase for 3 times. Work 1 single crochet. Mark the first stitch. Next, work one increase. Increase means working two single crochets in the same stitch. Work one single crochet in the next stitch. Then work one more single crochet in the same stitch. One single crochet and one increase are finished. One set is done. Increase. Increase means working two single crochets in the same stitch. In the next stitch, We'll show how to work one increase. First, work one single crochet in the next stitch. Yarn round hook. Pull the yarn through both loops on the hook. One single crochet is down. Then, work one more single crochet in the same stitch. Insert hook into the same stitch. Hook the yarn and pull up a loop through the stitch. Yarn round the hook. Pull the yarn through both loops on the hook. Okay, one increase is finished. Keep working two more sets. Work one single crochet and one increase is one set. One slip stitch. Round two is done. In round three, start with one chain stitch. Then work a sack of one increase, two single crochets for three times. Finally, end with one slip stitch. After one chain stitch, work one increase. 
Increase means working two single crochets in the same stitch. Then work two single crochets. One increase and two single crochets are finished. One set is done. Keep working two more sets. Work one increase and two single crochets as one set. Work one slip stitch in the first stitch to join this round. Round three is done. 